green fields are what rice farmer Bunrit Homchan would normally dream of. Only this is the wrong shade of green. Weeds have overgrown the rice plants in this field in China province in central Thailand. We are facing a serious drought. Even if we use herbicides to control the wheat growth to allow the rice to absorb water from the soil, it doesn't work out. There's just not enough water. The problem is so serious that the Thai government has advised farmers to switch to other crops that use less water, if they haven't started sowing. Water levels in Thailand's major reservoirs are historically low. According to the Thai Meteorological Service, rainfall has remained below average this year and is down 25% nationwide. Officially, Thailand entered the rainy season at the end of May. But because of El Niño, many provinces are still facing drought. At the National Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, just outside Bangkok, scientists are looking for a long-term solution to the problem. Rice varieties that can tolerate drought are being bred here. We need to find a new variety of rice dealing with drought. And nowadays, drought problem is becoming intermittent. In the past, you will know when drought will come. Say, for example, at the later part of the uh, plant stage. But this time, it's not like that. So the team needs to create a plant that can handle drought both during the growth phase and the reproductive stage. To do this, the scientists are using traditional crossbreeding techniques rather than genetic modification. However, so-called DNA markers are used to monitor and thereby speed up the process. Farmer Homchan is also involved in the research. Every kilogram of paddy rice grown requires an average of 2,500 liters of water. In his test fields, this water is currently pumped electronically from a reservoir. Everyone is depressed because there's no rainwater in the canals. We don't know how much we can harvest. If the government's announcement becomes a reality that rice cultivation may no longer be possible due to El Niño, it would be a big blow for us. But the father of two does not want to give up. He and his wife have relied on rice for over 30 years. The tight supply on the world market has now driven up the price, from which he hopes to profit after the harvest.